Hi, I'm Ruben Saltzman with Structure Tech Home Inspections, and today we're going to talk about radon, what it is, and why you should get your house tested for it. So we're talking about radon today because January is National Radon Awareness Month. We do a ton of radon testing here at Structure Tech, and almost all of these radon tests are tied to real estate transactions. It's important to have your house tested if you're buying a house. And don't take my word for it though. This information comes from the Surgeon General, the EPA, the National Lung Association, and the Minnesota Department of Health. They all say that this is an important thing to do. The bottom line is that radon causes lung cancer. It's something that comes up from the ground. You can find it in any home of any age, and even two houses built right next to each other, side by side. One could test very low for radon, and the other could have a very high radon level, even if they are built identically. It's highly dependent upon the soils that they're built on, and it can change house to house. So you never know if you have a high radon level in a home until you actually test for it. And now, I, I said that there's all these authoritative agencies out there who say it's important to test for radon, but I want to take a minute to talk about the Minnesota Department of Health because they have made a huge push to make sure that anytime someone's buying a house in Minnesota, the house gets tested. There was something that went into law back in 2013. It was called the Radon Awareness Act, and it, it went into effect on January 1st of 2014 here in Minnesota. And it's this, I'm not going to get into all the specifics, but it's this big long list of rules talking about how if you know that you have radon at your house, you need to disclose that to anybody who's buying your house. And not only that, if you're buying any type of home, you need to be presented with paperwork explaining to you how important it is to test for radon. It's, it's all this information that the Minnesota Department of Health puts out talking about how this is an important thing to do. Radon causes lung cancer, you don't want that, you need to test your house. And if you do have a radon test and it turns out that you have high levels, which is generally accepted as being above four, not gonna get into the specifics of, of exactly what that means for this video, but if you test your house and you have an elevated level, it can be fixed. You have a professional come in and put it in a mitigation system. It's not that expensive and this system runs all the time and it's gonna suck soil gases out from underneath your house and it's gonna dramatically reduce your radon levels. So it's, it's something that can be fixed in pretty much every property, which is why it's so good to test. And the time to do it is if you're buying a house. Hold on, stop the video. I just said the time to do it is when you're buying a house. That's not exactly right. The best time to test for radon is when you're buying a house. But the next best time is any other time. You can test any existing house. It's cheap and easy to do. The Minnesota Department of Health has this good deal where you can get radon tests where you can do a do-it-yourself test for $12.95. Here's the link. I'm gonna put it right in the video for you. You go to this website and you can order tests all day and the tests that you buy and you do yourself, they're just as good as the ones that we do. The difference is that you need to read the protocol, you need to set the test up yourself, you need to send it in to a lab to get the results, and you're not gonna get hour by hour breakdowns, and you're not gonna have some third party doing quality assurance and someone who's licensed doing it. It's none of that, it's just, it's very do it yourself. It doesn't work for a real estate transaction. For a real estate transaction, in Minnesota, you need to use someone who is licensed. That's the only test you can do. But if you just wanna test yourself, by all means, get one of these tests. If you haven't had your house tested, I urge you, test your house, especially if anyone at your house spends any time in the basement. Okay, back to our regularly scheduled video. Now, I, I do need to address, I've, I've read reports over the years, I've had other, other real estate professionals send me articles saying, hey, I've got, I found this one blogger and, and he says that radon is a scam and there is no such thing and, and this is all a conspiracy. You, you can read whatever you want and may, maybe, maybe the bloggers are right. Maybe this is a scam 
and there is no such thing as radon and all of these government agencies got it wrong. But even if that were the case, I would still test my house before buying it for radon. And the reason is that these tests can be duplicated. If we come to a house and we test it and it comes up high and then we come back a month later and we test it again, it's surely going to come up high again. It may not be the exact same result. These levels fluctuate throughout the week, throughout the month, throughout the year. Radon levels definitely fluctuate, but when we test a house and it comes up high, chances are it's going to come up high the next time we test. If it comes up low, it's probably going to be low again. The, the numbers don't fluctuate wildly. So it's something that can be duplicated. And if I'm buying a house and I know that there's a high radon level, this is a liability. This is something that is not going to make my house as desirable and it's definitely something that can be fixed. So I would not consider buying a house without first testing it for radon. The only exception, I guess, is if I decided I'm buying a house as is and I don't care about any of this and I'm gonna buy it no matter what and I'll fix it myself if it's high. Maybe in that case, I would just do a radon test myself after I've purchased the house and before my family moves in. But in any other case, if there's going to be any negotiations over a high radon level, I would definitely get it tested first. So the bottom line is, if you're buying a house in Minnesota, get it tested for radon. Doesn't matter if it's slab on grade or it has a basement. You do have higher levels of radon in houses that have basements, but it doesn't mean you can't have radon on slab on grade. Personal story about how I stuck my foot in my mouth once. Nobody's listening, right? I once had a home inspection client who said, they wanted to have their townhome tested for radon at the same time I was doing the home inspection. And I said, look, let me save you some money. It's slab on grade. You surely don't have any radon. We never find radon on slab on grade. They always have low radon levels. You, you really don't need to test. He insisted on getting it tested and I just kind of shrugged. I went, well, you know, it's your, it's your money. Okay. So we tested for him. The test came back at 8.9 or something. I mean, it was more than double the action level from the EPA. So insert foot in mouth. I no longer tell people, test this house, test that house. I'd say, if you're buying a house, it's a good idea to test for radon. You never know which house is gonna have a high radon level or not. Oh, and one more thing. Newer homes in Minnesota are going to have passive radon mitigation systems installed. That's been required since 2009, where we put this pipe in and it makes it really easy to make the mitigation system active, all you gotta do is install a fan and plug it in and put a little meter in the basement, a couple little things like that, and you now have turned it into an active system. So we've been doing that in Minnesota for over a decade now, but it still needs to be tested. You don't know if those passive systems are gonna reduce radon levels enough to meet the EPA threshold for action. So it's always a good idea to test whether it's new construction or not. I could go on and on, there's a lot more to this, but I just wanted to hit the highlights. Thank you so much for watching. Take care.